there's like a clock or some shit or like or something that looks like a clock and like shit on the walls Stop and running. It's like not safe. Yeah, whatever. And and, yeah. and what and like black liquid on the ceiling and it's just like Oh, yeah, no, that's... Okay, so, because we're learning more about what happened to Charlie, so this has got to be, like, the lake, Under, right? The lake, yeah. And, um... Yeah, the rest of it, no, this is... Kind of all, like, a, a telltale heart kind of rehashing of that stuff. I, I wonder... No. I was, <laughs> was going to pull out my lighter and see if I could light the candle, but... It's not in here. Like, some of these are lit. That one isn't. That's weird. Like, I don't know why you guys did that. I don't know either. Um, that's a painting of a screamer. That's also weird. It looks like Marilyn Manson or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Damn it, I'm not gonna hurt you. So here's another thing that I just realized. The um the flashback that we just had. Yeah. Murphy was dressed in the same clothes that he's dressed in now. That he found in that motel. That's uh, a mistake. I don't I don't know that it's a mistake. I I guess it's just like I guess it was like not just him remembering. Yeah, maybe. Like maybe he was like transported into his own mind. Or something. Let's make excuses. Well, no, it's like a like a dream kind of. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> who who knows? Look, who cares? I, I look. I want to pretend I have standards. Yeah. Um. I actually remember. I'm starting to remember this part from the first time we played. Remember? Yeah. No, you're right. This is uh. This is right. Um, what's, what's, what's coming up here is, uh... I don't really know if I want to say, because I think I remember what's coming up, because I don't want to like, spoil the surprise. I remember that there was some puzzle that you got immediately, and I kind of dropped the ball it was, on it. It was, the, it was the room with the chandelier, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. No, there was a control room. Or something. There's, a con there's a control room, and there's also a guy that has that hits. Uh, there's like the, a boogeyman Wait, or something that I'm um, trying to help you. hits the floor and makes like gaps in the floor. Uh, I don't remember that, but okay. Well, whatever. Okay. I, I I think I think that's what's coming up next after we get through this part. Oh, is this what you were just talking about? Yes. Uh, I think so. Well, no, there's another guy who makes uh, who makes things in the floor, but I maybe there's this is one of the uh, no that that's not the specific one I was talking about, but um, it was crazy that I guess something like that, but um, any whoa, what is going on here? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. We're not going that way. Oh. It's the misters. Oh, I remember those guys. Caged pig carcass. Buy me some time. Hey, little girl, you are really annoying me.
I like the way you can stop like the evil demonic presence with like just by knocking over something. Or slow yeah. it down rather. I remember this part. Thank you, James Brolin. done with the singularity stuff I mean I'd hope we're done with, 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 with that stuff I think I was talking about this right oh yeah no there were okay so I think we kind of decided that there was a trick to this and it was just uh, just dodge yeah Dodge the attacks and wait it out, almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I seem to recall this took a few times. Yeah, it did. So there was um, there was a battle with uh, Pyramid Head, kind of, in the earlier acts of uh, Silent Hill Two where you just kind of had to, like, dodge his attacks for a certain amount of time, and then he would just walk away in a huff. I guess this is kind of, like, the same thing. If they're, if, they're, if they're looking at the prior art of the series, like, that must have been what they were thinking. Yeah, so you just have to like do the dodge those attacks for a little bit, and then I think you, you walk over the side, right? Like, mm -hmm. there's like a there's there's like an area over to the um, to the right that you can walk that that grate is gonna open up, and I think you walk through there, right? There it goes. Oh shit! Oh man! Why is jur the J in Journal capitalized? Uh, because it's like a, an entity in the game system, probably. You know, it's kind of like the all cap stuff in the Pokemon ebooks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good point. We call that Pokemon case. Pokemon ebooks. Pokemon ebooks is a pretty good Twitter account. Mm hmm. Kind of weird. These cutscenes, like, I'm pretty sure they're rendered in engine, but you know, like, they took away the pickaxe that he was holding. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. It's one of the things that I like about um, Resident Evil 4 is, uh, you know, the equipment. And uh, the outfit that you're wearing is reflected in all the cutscenes. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like with Destiny too, right? Like, yeah, you know, you have 
like your outfit is always in most most of the cutscenes are actually done seems like an engine, so maybe that's like more of a I mean I guess it started with a PS3, but I think that's more uh, for a PS4 thing too. Uh well, yeah. Resident Evil 4 was first released for the GameCube. Well, it was a GameCube thing, so they yep. they were actually rendering in engine kind of stuff even back then. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. GameCube, PS2, Wii, PC. These are all platforms I've played that game on. Through yeah. to completion. This has gotta be one of my most played games. Have you seen all the Resident Evil movies? Uh I don't know. When I become aware of one, I will usually just watch it, but um I don't follow it. I got you. Like, they're usually not very good, so. <laughs> I think that might be the understatement of the day, pretty much. Mm hmm. We can't take that painting right now. No. I think, uh. How does this work? Yeah, I see him in the same place. Oh. Oh, Jesus. We're making like the eraser head baby sound. <laughs> So, yeah, we're following the trail of the girl. So, we're looking for paintings with the girl in it. Going downstairs, like where are you where are you going exactly? Jeez. That really hurt. We're just looking for doors with a girl in the painting. Oh, okay, cool. I think. Or what is this? We got to the bottom. Okay. I can't believe we're at 61% completion. It feels kind of like hard fought at this point. It feels what? Very hard fought at this point. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I don't know. This, ga this game for me is, is just kind of, it's kind of an ordeal. <laughs> Though it's, it's, it's better, it is much better than the time I spent watching you play Evil Within. Evil Within yeah. was, Evil Within was like having a hole drilled in your head. It was just, it was just no fun. It, it, it was just like, hey, gotta sneak past this guy. I'm gonna try about ten times and nothing's gonna happen. Mm hmm You know, it's just uh it's not really Oh 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 wait, wait what is this? It's just uh Hey, here we are. Finally, yeah. My favorite room in the entire game.
So we just gotta make it up to the patrol booth now. Is that our next stop? I mean, I think so, right? Hmm. Deep inside. So innocent. Blue candles. Okay. I don't I don't really get it. Um but we got some candles and we got a a doll. Yeah. How did you get up there? Ooh, that was close. That was really funny. Um, how the doll just got knocked over when you shot the bullets at it. Um, you shot three bullets at it and nothing happened. Yeah. Then like on the fourth bullet it gets knocked over. Yeah. It's the magic of dolls. It is the magic of dolls. So I've got a champagne bottle. How do you think that rates in the uh, Silent Hill melee weapon world? Probably um, not very high, huh? I don't know. I mean, it depends on if you're, they're just going to break pieces of it off and do the uh, Liam Neeson in the gray thing with the fingers. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do that. I'm okay. going to go back to my pickaxe, but it's probably going to break, so we'll see. Um, so, yeah, you said there was a, a control room, right? I don't... Yeah, it's up there where that light is, yeah. Yeah. How do I get up there? Through here, maybe? I think that's a good, uh, guess. That doesn't look... Okay. There are stairs, though. There's something under the stairs? People? Are there people? People? <laughs> Perhaps? Yeah, I didn't see anybody. What's this? Oh, pick up. No. And this is... Don't switch on the radio! Oh! <laughs> hmm. I don't think he's playing. Okay, he is playing. Playing some music. See you later. But it's uh, but it's like some custom stuff that was made for the game. That you know, the shitty music. Better, better be on the safe side. Yeah. So. Right. Chandelier control. Curtain control. Let's pull the curtain. Ah, oh, we got a loony. So, I am actually going to check out that pile of bricks down there to see if there's a crowbar or something in it. Okay. I'm, I am a little worried about this uh, pickaxe. It's taken a beating so far. Nope. Just bricks. Oh. And now I can't get the pickaxe, can I? Yeah, no. Wow, yeah, I just really... Oh, well. Got a brick. Or a chair. We'll go with the chair. 
you know, you could use that brick to make a panini press. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. How how does that work? You wrap it in aluminum. Foil. Oh. Yeah. Why not? Let's make sandwiches. Oh shit. Murph's gonna kick this dude's ass, and then he's gonna make him a panini. Hmm. I need to get my gun. Oh god. Talk about an ordeal. This is, uh... Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay. I thought the game just crashed there. That could have happened. Very easily. Uh, candles, right? Yep. Hmm. Blue candles. Dish him out, Murphy. And now... Light him? I was th thinking about the sigil thing, right? And, uh... I remember when we walked into the room... They oh yeah so there was a there was a trick here right there's a puzzle in the next room or something and we gotta we gotta light the candles and then raise this thing back up to yes. uh shit to get like the secret code or whatever that's how this works uh so anyway the sigils or the sigils jeez I can't help myself. Uh, when we walked into that room, there was a, a notice about... Or not a notice, but there was a lighter in there, right? So maybe the thing to do next time is to keep the UV light on. Um, because that should show us like where we need to cast the shadow. And then uh, use the lighter to actually do the casting. That's that's gonna be my thing. If we ever get back to that, I'm gonna try that. Out. Might work. Because if you remember with the eye thing, like we saw the we saw the glyph on the wall, and then we shone the the UV light on it, and it had the the crescent or the semicircle. Yeah. Anyway, so, oh yeah, right. So triangle, triangle, circle, square, triangle. That's that's the thing. Yep. I wonder if this game came out for any other platforms, and if they had to switch that up, like, because that's oddly specific to PlayStation. Now we gotta go behind the stage. Into Tron land. Oh. We locked that up. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, no, this is a... Uh, we're in a shower room right now. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, so let's do this.
Yeah, okay. This is like uh, somebody else has been scrapbooking. Or wait, no, some of this looks like receipts. So maybe this is like the stash from uh, somebody's tax records or something. Where am I? Why are you doing this to me? Thank you for coming to shepherd your son home, Mr. Pendleton. I know it's difficult losing a child. With all due respect, I don't think you do. And like I already told you, there's been a mistake. I buried my son years ago. I understand, Mr. Pendleton. We all deal with grief in our own way. Shall we? Oh, yeah, right. This was, um... The nun with the huge hands. Yeah! <laughs> what? Now, if you'll just sign for your son's body, you can take him home. No! This isn't my son! This thing's a monster, a murderer! Yes, well, I suppose that runs in the family. What the hell are you talking about? Don't you know, child? That's a little harsh. You've wandered so far off the path to not even realize who you are. What the hell are you talking about? So often the answers are before us, Murphy. If only we allow ourselves to see them. Hmm. Why are you doing this to me? There were those who dwelt in darkness and in the shadow of death. Why not? Prisoners in misery and chains. Because they had rebelled against the word of God. When they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, <laughs> I screwed up, he saved but I didn't them. see any other he way. Brought them out of darkness you don't know what it was them, like to know it was my fault apart. he was gone. Every you time I God shut my eyes, revive. I saw Charlie's face, and hate. all I could he think was, that monster is still business. alive, but I'll never get to Amen. see my boy again. Why are you doing this to me? What do you want? Professional victim. I did to me. <laughs> I want an affordably priced hamburger. <laughs> and I was stuck in prison. Everything spiraled out of control. It was my fault. I just want I just want my life back. So still no uh pumpkin pie shakes at Jack in the Box, huh? Jack in the Box is dead to me. Isn't it, Mr. Pendleton? Looks like I'm just gonna have to go to Burgerville when I come out to visit. Mm-hmm. 
I might go buy Jack in the Box. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything. Yeah, you know, their curly fries are still pretty good. The munchie bot, the munchie meals look pretty good. You only need to claim them as your like own. Like the, they have one jalapeno burger thing that looks pretty good. I, I had one and it was not amazing. Y you know what? You see? It doesn't have to be amazing. You'd come around in the end. That's my philosophy on it, on Jack in the Box. Mm. It just has to be. Those munchie boxes though, I, I never got one. Because I felt guilty, and I felt like I would be judged if I bought one. But, um, I've gotten over that. Yeah. Welcome no, home, Mr. Pendleton. Don't, don't let that feeling come over you, you know? Say hi yeah. to the haters. Hi, haters. Yeah. So, you know, we didn't really have this, uh, the boogeyman guy. Like, he didn't show up until much later in the game, but... Now that we're in a bit, wouldn't it have made a lot of sense to show him in the mines and stuff? Like, like, uh, what's that, that movie with the gas mask guy in the mines? My Bloody Valentine? That was it. Yeah, the Valentine Massacre. Right, right, right.